Hey guys, my name is Ryan. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the brushless motors torque output and how it relates to the KV of the brushless motor. We want to compare a bunch of radio control brushless motors and see exactly what the relationship is between KV and overall output torque. Now what we must do in order to establish the relationship is be able to compare apples to apples. In order to do this, what we're gonna do is make sure we define a physical motor size. We're gonna pull out an arbitrary number and we're gonna look at motors that exist at 40 millimeter diameters by 80 millimeters in length. Now that motor size is quite large and we can get a very a uh, good amount of power out of that brushless motor. Now the only thing that is going to be changing in our example is specifically the KV value. So that is the RPM per volt, that is what is known as KV. As you take your KV value and you multiply it by a voltage, you get the total amount of RPM out of that motor. So we're gonna go, like I said, and compare three motors within this example. And those three motors are gonna have varying KV values. Our first KV value that we're gonna look at as motor number one is at 2830. The next one at 1570 and our last one at 790. Now, one other thing that we want to do is look at, right from the manufacturer's website, we wanna take the maximum voltage we get out of that motor and the maximum current. Now, keep in mind that these maximums are continuous rated specifications. In other words, you can pull this much current at the specific voltage that is mentioned here for an, the entire duration of the battery that you are using for your application. So we look at the maximum voltages at motor number one with the highest KV, it's 21 volts, and the next one is at 38 volts, the last one at 76 volts. We quickly go over the currents for these motors. We have the motor number one at a maximum continuous current of 165, next motor at 92, and last one at 46. Now we get into the interesting part, which is the KT value of the brushless motor. First question, what is the KT value of a brushless motor actually represent? Well, the answer to this question is, it does represent the torque constant of the brushless motor. The next question is, how do you get the torque constant out of a brushless motor? Well, interestingly enough, the torque constant is simply just the inverse of the KV value. You take the KV value, you do one over that KV value, and you get the KT value. As long as you do your conversions correctly to maintain SI units, you will get the correct output value there for the KT value. So I've gone ahead and done that math for us, so we don't need to go and redo that. The KT values that we're gonna talk about today is in two different units, you know, for those that like and prefer the imperial system and those who prefer to have the SI. I personally prefer the SI, so KT in millinewton meters per amp is going to be represented by motor number one at 3.37, two at 6.08, and the last one there at 12.09. Now for those that like the ounce inches per amp, those are at 0 0.48, 0 0.86, and 1.71. So those are the KT values for those brushless motors. Now we talked about how we get the KT value. We're not interested in the KT value. We wanna know the actual amount of torque that I can get out of those motors. I wanna know how much metal I can twist in my RC application. So in order to look at that, I have to go to the torque produced. In order to get torque produced, it's great. All I take is the KT value, I multiply it by the current and I get that overall amount of torque produced in the correct units. So if I want to get torque in millinewton meters, I go ahead, I take my KT value, and I multiply that by the maximum current, and I'm left with the torque produced of that brushless motor. So if we look at our first motor, motor number one is going to be rated at a total torque output of 556.8, with motor number two at 5. 59.6 and the last one there at 556.0. Now if you look at the other units, we're at 78.8, 79.2 and 78.7 inch ounces of torque. So those are the total torque values of all of those brushless motors. Now right away you can already establish that those numbers are essentially the same thing. In fact, the only reason there's a difference in those values is because of a small amount of rounding that's done within the numbers presented to you. So theoretically those numbers would actually come out identical, but again, we rounded a bunch of numbers so it's a slight difference. They're only within a couple percent or two of each other. 
So what do we learn from this example? Well, when we take these brushless motors of the same physical size, even though they have different KV values, we're theoretically totally possible to get the identical amount of torque out of them. Just because the KV value of a brushless motor decreases does not mean we can't get the same amount of torque out of that one versus a motor with a higher KV. Now one would expect, how can I possibly get a good amount of torque out of a motor that has such a high KV? Well, you have to keep in mind that that motor with a high KV value is gonna be able to dump a lot of current. It's not necessarily true that a high KV motor cannot have the same amount of torque output. In fact, if you load that motor up, it's going to try and push that load. That's why motors will blow up or overheat, you know, at a lesser extent when we are overloading them. So what happens as we load them up, we pull the current and that current is exactly what works into our relationship for torque. The more current we are pulling, the more torque that we are producing. High KV motors are able to produce a ton of torque because they are able to pull a lot of amps. That's how it is all made possible. Same with our motors with lower KVs. They are also able to produce a ton of torque, but it's for a different reason. It's because we have a small amount of current able to pass through those low KV motors, but they have a high KT value. So overall, you can see how these numbers are kind of changing. As we decrease in KV, we are actually increasing in KT, which is our torque constant. Therefore, we can get the same amount of overall torque produced from our brushless motors. So keep in mind, when you're going and choosing a brushless motor and you see that one has a very high KV versus the other one at a lower KV, those brushless motors, as long as they're in the same class, you know, same manufacturer, this way you know they're built the same, so it's the same physical size and the only difference is the KV value, you can get the total amount of torque output of that motor identical as long as you are loading them up correctly. I hope that explains something when it comes to the relationship between the motor torque and the KV value of the brushless motor. Hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Please like the video if you do and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.